Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to do. I'm going to show you how to do a DC analysis of another common emitter uh, transistor amplifier, but this time with a collector feedback uh, configuration. If you notice here, uh, this resistor RF uh, has uh, basically taps the current from the collector side of Q1. All right. So as usual, before we start, we need to label our currents and and voltages so that we know. Uh, you know which side is positive and, and, and therefore forming our equations properly. So looking at the currents, uh, the first thing we have is uh, this current here that is coming down uh, that vertical. So that's obviously going to be uh, IC, right? Because uh, it is the it is going into the collector, so that's going to be IC. All right, so that's IC, okay. Uh, and then uh, there is a current that is flowing this way, all right. So that means there's a current coming down, and it gets split into this way and that way. So that is going to be called IB because it is the current that flows into the base of Q1. All right, so let me just label that. So that's going to be IB. So that's IB there. So we have IB coming down and into the base, and IC coming down and into the collector, and then the emitter uh, comes out the other end. Now, uh, so that means there's a current that is flowing uh, through RC that is uh, a combination of the two. So if I label this particular uh, current, then it will be IC plus IB. So that will be IC plus IB. So that's what the uh, that top current is, right? So you have that IC coming down here, you have IB going this way, so therefore the current that is flowing down here is going to be IC plus IB. Okay, in terms of voltages, uh, we have a, well, current is flowing down, so that means positive voltage across RC is going to be uh, pointing up. All right, so that's going to be VRC, if you like. All right, so let's we'll duplicate that. All right, so this is going to be v, uh, VRC. All right, okay. So that's VRC there, uh, pointing up. And since this is current flowing from right to left, uh, through RF, then there is a voltage across it that is pointing from uh, left to right. All right, so that's basically a voltage going that way because current is flowing this way, so voltage is positive that way. So that is going to be, I'm going to move this a bit. I'm going to label that as, uh, uh, all right, so that's going to be VRF, right? So the voltage across uh, basically RF. So I have a VRF that is positive pointing this way, and then the VRC that is positive pointing up, and IC plus IB coming down, IC going through the collector, IB uh, going to the base. All right, so let's form some equations. So this is VCC that is at, at the top here. So we can actually create a, an equation that links the voltage drop here plus the voltage drop there plus the voltage drop there, which is VBE. So this is going to be VBE, right? Uh, and then finally, uh, all that has to add up to a VCC, right? So there is, uh, of course, a, a VBE here. So let me just move this here and point that to there. So that's going to be VBE. Positive that way. Remember, this is an NPN transistor. Uh, so VBE is uh, positive in that direction as indicated. So this is going to be VBE. All right, so that's VBE. Okay, so now we can write an equation. Uh, so the equation around the outer loop, the outer left loop, right? So that's basically here, yeah, from, from VCC going here, going here, coming down eventually to ground, all right? So that's going to be uh, 
you're going to start off with, uh, I'm going to say VCC is going to be equal to uh, IC plus IB. Uh, this is just Ohm's law, IC plus IB times RC. All right, so that's the voltage drop here. That's basically VRC. All right, uh, plus the voltage drop across RF, which is going to be IB times RF. And then the voltage drop across the base emitter junction of Q1, that's, uh, that's down here, All right? So this is going to be uh, VBE, all right? Okay, so, uh, well, so we can write about, we, we can actually uh, uh, turn IC into beta IB, remember that, All right? So beta is equal to IC over IB, so we can write IC in terms of uh, beta IB, and therefore can collect all the IBs together uh, to figure out what IB is going to be, because we're here, here the question is asking us about IB, IC, and eventually uh, VC, all right? So, uh, so, because, <clears throat> because IC is equal to beta IB, all right, and then, So therefore, I can write that equation there as VCC is equal to, well, IC is beta IB, so that's going to be beta IB plus IB, all that times RC, and plus IB again, so basically the rest is just the same, plus VB, all right? which I can then collect uh, all the IBs together. All right, so the right-hand side is going to be, I'm just going to collect all the IBs together. So I'm going to get IB there, multiply by beta RC. All right, that's this term here, this term multiplied by RC. All right, uh, plus RC, that's IB times I, uh, so IB times one basically, and then that one multiplied by RC, so you get that. Okay, plus RF. All right, so you get RF there. Uh, so that that because that's multiplied by IB as well, and finally plus a VBE. Right. Uh, so that now that I, I can now write an equation that is specifically just about IB. All right. Uh, so therefore IB. is going to be equal to, well, uh, I just simply take uh, 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 plus VBE here across to the other side, so it becomes, at uh, the top part, would be VCC minus VBE, all right? And all of it is divided by uh, that term there in brackets, which is uh, beta RC plus RC plus RF, and that's that. All right, so that's going to be equation for uh, IB, which we can then work out uh, com completely, you know, so because we have all the values there. So that's 9 volts. VCC is 9 volts, right? That's there. So 9 minus 0 0.7 uh, volts divided by uh, beta, R beta is 180, so 180 times, uh, 180 times, uh, what is RC? RC is 1 kilo ohm, 1K. All right, uh, plus 1K again, and then plus RF, which is 300K uh, ohm, all right? So this uh, will work out to be 17.26 uh, micro, um, microamps. And so we have our answer for IB. And the rest is, uh, well, pretty easy because uh, now that we know IB, we can therefore work out what uh, IC is through the beta equals IC over IB um, uh, relationship. So IC, therefore, is equal to uh, beta times IB. So therefore, it's just going to be equal to uh, 180 
times with uh, 17.26 uh micro apps all right so that'll work out to be 3.11 milliamps so that's my that's uh, our ic and finally to work out what vc is right so vc is well vc is base is is here vc means the voltage at the collector so that means it's going to be the voltage across here all right uh well you can write an equation that links uh, uh, the voltage on the on the right hand loop all right so i can write an equation for the right hand loop uh equation for the right hand loop all right so right hand loop means here that's this loop here uh that's going to be equal to vcc is going to be equal to well ic plus ib times RC plus so that so VCC is going to be the this voltage plus VC all right so plus uh, plus VC all right uh, well we know everything we know what IC is we know what IB is so therefore we can write an equation for VC so therefore uh, VC is going to be equal to uh, VCC and then minus uh, all of this. All right? So that's going to be equal to 9 minus uh, IC plus IB, which is 3.11 milli plus uh, IV, which is 17.26 micro amps multiplied by uh, RC, which is one kilo. Ohm. All right, uh, so that's gonna work out. Uh, to be equal to five, Point in eight volts. All right, so that's that. Uh, so now I have the answer for all that's been asked for. All right, so it's relatively easy to, to derive. Uh, the key thing is, of course, to label all the currents and voltages correctly uh, before you can do your analysis. Uh, thanks for listening. See you in the next videos.